Then you can open our software CXW directly for other chips. You can watch the distribution of all components for the most mobile phone. This is a software we must do for mobile phone repair. I suggest that everyone can buy this CXW software. Well, the bow is the structural distribution of the front of the iPhone 6 motherboard. Next, let's take a look at the structural distribution on the back of the motherboard and switch the screen. First of all, you can see this chip. It is a Wi-Fi chip. If it is damaged, it will cause failures such as no Wi-Fi, poor signal, high cache current, restart with Apple logo, etc. You can see this chip. It is an NFC front end. It is easy to crash another force when water enters. You can see this chip. It is an audio IC. If there is a fault welding, loosen or damage, it will cause no sound, hoarse sounds, sound failure, etc. Moreover, if this chip is short circuit and liquid, it will cause high current and fade to boot. You can see that this chip is an NFC chip. It is Apple's mobile payment. If the water is easily damaged, it can cause malfunctions such as mobile payment. Continue down. This is the M8 comprocessor. If damaged, it will cause the compass gyroscope accelerometer to malfunction. Keep moving here. Everyone should pay attention. This chip is a main power IC, also named it PMU, a chip that provides power to the entire motherboard. If damaged, it will cause a series of problems. For example, it will cause no power on, unable to connect to PC. Or no light, no display, no touch, no baseband. If this chip is short circuit by liquid, it will also cause high current to fade to boot and white apple failure. So everyone should remember that this chip has a high probability of repair. Continue down. We see this small one under the power chip. This is a 32K power clock. It is equivalent to a clock signal to the power chip. If damage cause inaccurate time, unable to verify, etc. Continue down. We can see that this chip is also quite special. It is a barometer chip. The larger chip in the middle below is an NAND. If it is damaged, it will cause failure such as no boot, unlimited boot crash, restart with Apple logo, and error night when flash the phone. Continue to look down. We can see that there is another chip here, which is USB control IC, also many people call it U2. It is easy to damage and cause disconnection of the computer. Or plug in the data cable and prompt, this accessory is not supported. Or it prompts on recognized USB. It will also cause the battery to be inaccurate, automatically restart, Blue screen and red screen will not boot. Continue look down. 
You can see that there is also a larger chip here, which is charging IC chip. On the iPhone 6 motherboard, its number is U1401. It is very easy to be damaged. Damage will cause leakage when power supply and not turn it on. And no power on with high current. It will also cause the data cable to be unresponsive. No charging or there is a charging icon, but the more the battery is charged, the less. Let's move over and take a look here. There is a 19.2M crystal here, which is a clock crystal oscillator. If damaged, it will cause no baseband, no 3G, no 4G, signal, etc. Okay, look down here. The chip here is a baseband power supply IC, also call it BBPMU. No baseband, no signal due to damage or weak soldering and losing or unrecognized SIM card inserted. Because the BCC main from the power IC just mentioned above is sent here. Therefore, if the water enters here, it is easy to corrode and short circuit, resulting in power leakage or power up high current. And everyone pay attention to that there are many small components near this chip. These small components are also easy to corrode and cause short circuits when water damage. Then connect the DC power supply. The meter shows the electric leakage and the large current cause no turn on. Okay, keep looking down. There is also a relatively large chip here. It is an intermediate frequency IC. If it is damaged or soldered, it will cause no baseband, no signal, poor signal. Sometimes it will cause failures such as no 2G, 3G or 4G signal. At the same time, this IC also integrates GPS navigation. So if there is a problem, it will cause GPS navigation failure. Okay, keep looking down. There is also a chip next to it here, which is a signal receiving preamplifier chip. If it is damaged or soldered, it will cause no signal or poor signal. At the same time, the both is the UDSM RF receiving filter. It is easy to be broken when falling, cause the chip to be loosened, resulting in poor signal. Okay, continue down. You can see there is a chip here. It is a ringtone amplification IC. Its APO component number is U1601. If damaged, it will cause no hands free, no ringtone. Since the battery voltage is directly supplied to this IC, the water will easily corrode and cause power leakage or high current failure. Let's move over here and look at another small chip, which is a vibration control IC. Its number on the motherboard of Apple mobile phone is U1400. If the chip is damaged, it will cause no vibration and the voltage will pass through here. Therefore, it is easy to corrode and short circuit caused by water damage and it will not start up after power on or high current. Okay, let's talk about some more special chips. At the top right of this motherboard, we can see
There is a chip under the glue here. It is a compass. If it is damaged, it will cause English to be displayed after the boot and the compass cannot be used. There is also this chip above the power IC, which is a touch IC. If it is damaged, it will cause no touch. Why I put power on the screen, display screen, large current, etc. At the same time, there are two touch IC on the iPhone 6. Here is one of the Touch IC. Here is another Touch IC. Then look again. There is a component here. It is a CPU 24 amp clock crystal oscillator. If this thing is damaged, the CPU will not work properly. If the CPU is not working properly, this phone may not turn on. Okay, that's all for this class. We will talk about other things in the next lesson. All chips and lines you can check in in the software CXW.